What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about Khalil Mack, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support, uh, continuing to shout out my content on all the social media platforms. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter, and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. Um, if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, uh, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can uh, donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, um, I do want to talk about if the Atlanta Falcons should sign uh, Khalil Mack in free agency. Uh, the rumors are that uh, the Los Angeles Chargers uh, will release um, Khalil Mack due to a cap casualty situation where they don't have enough cap space to keep him on the roster. And if Khalil Mack uh, becomes a free agent, I definitely think that the Falcons should reach out uh, to Khalil Mack and see if he would like to come join the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I definitely uh, love Khalil Mack's game. Um, he is a defensive end or outside linebacker, depending on your scheme. Uh, but he goes about 6'3", uh, 270 pounds, and he's a beast. Uh, Khalil Mack uh, will possibly be a Hall of Fame-type uh, talent. He is a Hall of Fame-type talent. Uh, he's been to numerous Pro Bowls, uh, started his career with the Oakland Raiders, and then later on was traded to the Chicago Bears and played one season last year with the Los Angeles Chargers. But I do think that it's time for the Falcons to go out and find uh, that veteran pass rusher like we did years ago uh, when we went out and signed John Abraham uh, from the New York Jets years ago, over a decade ago now. And it's time for the Falcons to get one of those elite pass rushers. Uh, we haven't had an elite pass rusher since John Abraham. And I definitely think that Khalil Mack could be, um, he definitely is one of those elite pass rushers. I definitely think if you bring him in, uh, he would be one of those guys that can help uh, teach these younger guys that we have on the roster, like a Arnold Evacati, like a D'Angelo Malone, um, like a Ogan Deji, all of these young uh, pass rushers, outside linebackers that we have on this roster. Um, I definitely think learning from a guy like Khalil Mack could help our younger players. And I definitely think that he could possibly be uh, that veteran, one of those veteran leaders, similar to in 2016 when we went out and signed uh, Dwight Freeney. He was another guy that was a, is now a Hall of Famer, um, but was a great pass rusher with the Colts. Um, I really think that this Falcons team needs to go out and get a guy that you can count on to get you uh, anywhere between eight and 10 sacks a season. And that's something that Khalil Mack can do for you. Uh, last year with the Chicago, excuse me, with the LA Chargers, he had eight sacks on the season. Um, but he's a guy notoriously known for getting uh, sacks in crucial situations, strip sack uh, fumbles and things of that nature. Uh, last year in the game against our Atlanta Falcons, uh, he took the ball, basically stripped the ball from Drake London when he was fighting for extra yardage. So Khalil Mack has always been one of those guys that's a huge playmaker and one of those X-Factor type players that can wreck a football game. And I really feel like the Falcons have to bring in uh, more game records on the defensive side of the ball. So if you're looking for a guy in the front seven that can wreak havoc, a guy that has all of those pass rush moves, a, that, a guy that can get after the quarterback in, in crucial situations, I definitely think that Khalil Mack is one of those X-Factor type players that every roster uh, needs to have in the NFL. And I definitely think uh, for the Atlanta Falcons, he would fit our, our team perfectly. Um, Grady Jarrett needs that guy up front that can you know single him up at times and the offensive line has to kind of pay attention to somebody else but Grady Jarrett and I definitely think getting a Khalil Mack he's a guy that is really good at getting after the passer he's a guy that most teams you have to leave a running back in to chip him at times because if you don't have a good uh, right tackle or left tackle uh, it's going to be a long day if you got a player like Khalil Mack on the outside so I definitely think the Falcons should target a Khalil Mack especially because um, we weren't able to get Deron Payne because he was franchise tagged uh, by the Washington Commanders. He was the first uh, target that I had for our Atlanta Falcons in free agency. But my second target now will be Khalil Mack. If he is available, I think Terry Fontenot 
they have to do everything they can in their power to try to go ahead and throw some of this money at him, see if he's willing to come to Atlanta, maybe on like a three a three year deal, a three or four year deal, depending on um, you know what type of money he's looking for. I believe from my understanding, he's still under contract. So I'm not really familiar with how that would work if he's released. But I definitely think the Falcons should definitely uh, see if they can go out and get a Khalil Mack. He's one of those guys, like I said, it's just a game changer. If we can get him on crucial third downs when we couldn't get off the field last year, he definitely would be, um, you know, just what the doctor ordered as far as being one of the solutions to getting after the passer, uh, causing more turnovers and things of that nature on the front seven. But with that being said, this being your boy, Jew, as always, Falcons Nation, rise up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button for your boy, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We are currently on the road to 2000 subscribers and beyond. And as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.